So if you're an SEO writing.ai user, you may be confused by which language model to use when you create your blog posts. Uh, one thing you want to be aware of is here's a blog post created with SEO writing.ai. If we look and see the language model that was used, note that it's Claude 3 Sonnet. And also note this, total cost, four generations. When you create articles with seowriting.ai, the thing to be aware of is every language model has a different cost. If you're not familiar with the way that seowriting.ai pricing works, let me just show you this really briefly, and then we'll jump right back into comparing these language models and looking at some of the scoring that resulted from my experiment. When you purchase either a yearly or a monthly subscription, the thing that you'll note is, let's say you buy in at the lowest subscription level, you get 50 generations unlimited words. So we don't worry about word limitations. What you're concerned about is how many generations do you have? So when we go back over to the interface here, let's say you choose to write with Claude 3 Sonnet, that particular language model uses four generations. If you write in GPT-40, which is the latest language model added to SEO writing, that article costs four generations. If you do 128K Turbo, it's seven generations. And if you do a Claude 3 Opus, that language model actually is going to cost 10 generations. Now, the reason Opus costs more generations. It's a more expensive language model for SEO writing.ai to use. And so I wanted to compare and contrast articles written with Sonnet, GPT 4.0, GPT 4.128K Turbo, and Claude 3 Opus. So you could decide which language model to use and hopefully preserve some of your article generations in the process. Let me show you how I set up this experiment. The first thing I did is I found some keywords. I used low fruits. I used keywords people use to find these keywords. Then what I did is I set up content queries. I wrote five different articles, one on blog content readability. Can you go camping with a cat? Gravel biking versus mountain biking. Is there a downside to electric cars? Why are retired people hurt by inflation? I created queries for all of these. Then of course, a neuron writer. This is where you do your scoring for SEO optimization. So a lot of people that have SEO writing already have Neuron Writer. If you don't, links to all these products are in the description for this video. I also have discount codes for most of them. Now, Neuron Writer is a lifetime deal at AppSumo. But this is what I use to come up with the SEO optimization score for an article. I used originality.ai just to see what the AI scoring looked like for each article and each language model. Then for each article and each language model, I ran it through Hemingway just to get a readability score. Then I put the article in Grammarly and I used that to get the initial score out of Grammarly. And then I have all of these compared in charts here. And we're going to go through the scoring in just a second. All of these articles were created using the same core settings. So I had the same core settings for every single article, regardless of what language model I used. I didn't add any images or anything like that. All of the keywords for SEO came out of Neuron Writer. So this is what I mean. I went in and I grabbed and copied the entities, and then I grabbed these basic and extended keywords, and I added those in. So for the SEO section of each article, these keywords were the same for each article. These keywords were captured from Neuron Writer. I made the structures all the same. I used basic web as the setting. Each article uses the same exact outline. And the way, the way that I did this, so I could just repeat this over and over again, as you can see here in the builder section, I have four articles for each topic. And that way I was able to just go in and then for this first one, I would just do a repeat. So in this case, the first article is written in Claude 3 Sonnet. And then I would just pick 
the next model, and then I would run it. So that way, everything was as close to the same for each article as I could possibly make it. I just wanted to make sure that each article was being created identically, and that really the only change is just the language model that, that I selected to create the article. Let's just go ahead and see what articles I created. I did one on blog content readability. I did one on Sonnet, GPT-40, GPT-4, 128K Turbo, and Opus. I did the same thing for Can You Go Camping with a Cat? I did the same thing for this gravel biking versus mountain biking article. I did Is There a Downside to Electric Cars? Four articles. And then I did an article called Why Are Retired People Hurt by Inflation? The reason I wrote these different topics is I just wanted to see if there was anything in any of the scoring that just sort of popped out and made me want to lean toward one language model over another when I'm creating these blog posts. So this is the baseline that I used for creating all these articles. So let's see how they scored because I think you'll find it interesting. And let's just go ahead and start with the first article, Camping with Cats. So for Claude three Sonnet, it scored a 52. So 55 was the highest optimization score in Neuron Writer. When I wrote it in Claude three Sonnet, it scored a 52. For originality.ai, the score that's green, that's the percentage of the article that it thinks may be human written versus in red, what they think is AI written. And in Hemingway, it's a grade six. Now, when I created the article, the one thing that I did, of course, was, let's just take a quick look. I used the humanized text function. I asked SEO writing to write it at the eighth and ninth grade level because that's the recommended level for the greatest amount of readability. It's the easiest to scan. It's easy for people to read. And that's, that's why I chose this set, setting and I chose it for every article that was written in this experiment. So let's go back over to the scoring. So even though I asked it to write at an eighth grade level, it wrote at a grade six, the Grammarly score was an 85. Now, when we get to GPT-40, a score of 47 out of the 55, it was shooting for 55. Originality.ai thinks only 12% of the article is actually human written, grade six, 83. The GPT-4 128K Turbo article, this got a little bit better score, so 55 out of 55. So I like that score for SEO optimization purposes, but it did get a fairly low score from the originality.ai scan with only 10% of the article being deemed as potentially human written. It's a grade seven, scored an 83. And then of course, Cloud 3 Opus is going to be the most expensive article to write because it uses 10 generations. It had good neuron writer scoring, it had pretty good originality.ai scoring, Hemingway score grade six, 81 Grammarly. So if I'm looking at these four articles, when I looked at the quality of the articles and the way they were written, and I looked at the scoring, from my perspective, considering all the different aspects uh, that we were measuring, to me, I think the Claude three Sonnet article comes out on top for the Camping with Cats article. So this is the article I wrote on blog readability. So again, Cloud3 Sonnet scored very well for Neuron Writer 65. From an optimization standpoint, the top score we were shooting for is a 67. It had the best originality.ai scoring with 56% of the article being deemed potentially human written. For Hemingway, we were asking it to write at the eighth grade level, it did that. It got an 80 Grammarly score. So GPT-40, pretty close, 63 out of 67, 34 and a 66, so 34% being deemed human written, eighth grade level, that's good. An 83 Grammarly score out of the box, that's a good score. GPT-4, 128K Turbo, again, pretty decent neuron writer score, a slightly better originality.ai score. Eighth grade came out with an 81 for Grammarly. And then the most expensive article to write is Cloud 3 Opus. 64 out of 67 had the worst originality.ai score. The seventh grade was fine, 82. So again, when I weigh all these different things, 
the Grammarly score to me has the least amount of weighting because it's very easy to boost your Grammarly score. You just go in and you make some of the grammar corrections and that score goes up very quickly. I think, in my opinion, I'm going to give Claude 3 Sonnet the edge. That's the language model that I think wrote this article the best. Now, when we go into gravel biking versus mountain biking, from an SEO optimization standpoint, again, uh, Cloud3 Sonic comes up with the best SEO optimization score at 69 out of 84. So 84 was the top competitor's score. Again, a really good originality.ai score, 56% being potentially human written, grade nine, a 79 Grammarly score. If we look at the GPT-40 article, 65 out of 84, 59% potentially human written with originality.ai, grade nine, an 81 Grammarly score. And then when we get to, you know, GPT-4, 128K Turbo, which sort of was the gold standard for a while and is more expensive to write with, it, it scores quite a bit less from the standpoint of it, the SEO optimization score. Not such a great originality.ai score, grade eight, uh, a good score for Grammarly right out of the box at 85. And when we get to Cloud 3 Opus, the most expensive language to use, the only thing that really stands out to me here is the originality.ai score. Other than that, I'm not particularly impressed with the rest of the scoring. If you were going to ask me which one I would go with, uh, I'm more interested in getting this good SEO optimization score. So I've got to give the slight edge again to Cloud3 Sonnet. So just highlight that quickly. Now, here's the next article. Is there a downside to electric cars? All of the language models scored quite well for Neuron Writer. The one that did the best was Cloud3 Opus. Uh, from the originality.ai standpoint, the Two clear winners are going to be Claude 3 Sonnet and Claude 3 Opus. All of the uh, articles uh, aligned well with the eighth grade reading level. The only one that didn't do quite as well is the GPT 4.0 article. And again, they're almost identical for a Grammarly score. So which one gets the edge here? I'm going to have to say that Claude 3 Opus was the, was the winner. Not by much, but it is the winner, but it is also by far the most expensive language model to use. It's going to cost you 10 generations to create an article in Cloud 3 Opus. So if I was going to pick a secondary runner up between these two language models where you only use four generations, then I would have to say GPT-40 just edges out Cloud 3 Sonnet. And only because the Neuron Writer score is better, it actually is optimized better than the top uh, article for is there a downside to electric cars. But again, you know, any of these sc scores can be tweaked. You can go into Neuron Writer and make some changes and, you know, boost the score for the Cloud 3 Sonnet article. But in this case, it's Cloud 3 Opus for the win. And the last article is why are retired people hurt by inflation? So let's go ahead and take a look at the scoring. Right off the bat, I see a 64 out of the potential 75 is the best optimized article was a 75, but Claude 3 Sonnet is a 64. It has uh, at least 73% of the article originality.ai thinks is human written or could be human written. It's at a grade 10, a Grammarly score of 83. Remember, I asked it to write at a grade eight level. It wrote at a grade 10. This particular article is a little more technical in nature. And so I noticed all of the language models ended up writing at a higher grade level. I noticed for the Grammarly score, Opus just barely edged out Claude 3 Sonnet. And then when you're looking at these originality.ai scores, this is the one that was really an anomaly to me. This score here where the GPT-40 article ended up with originality.ai thinking that 89% of that particular article could potentially be human written. That is That score was really an anomaly compared to the rest of them. Who's the winner? Um, I would have to say, based on the scoring, I'm giving the edge again to Claude 3 Sonnet. 
So let's highlight that. So let's go back again and take a look for Camping with Cats, Cloud3 Sonnet won that one. For blog readability, that article, again, Cloud3 Sonnet came out on top there. Gravel biking versus mountain biking, again, I'm going to go with Cloud3 Sonnet as the winner. For is there a downside to electric cars, that ended up being Cloud3 Opus as the winner. And then lastly, why are retired people hurt by inflation? I'm giving the edge to Cloud3 Sonnet. So let's quickly go look at a Cloud3 Sonic article here in SEO writing. So we can just look at the quality of the article itself. And so we'll open up the builder. Let's open up a Cloud3 Sonnet arc article here and we'll just scroll through it. The one nice thing about it is I really like the way that all the Cloud3 Sonic articles did a great job at pulling in these pull quotes, which helps break up the text. They also used really nice table structures, just nice and formatted well. Here's another fact that it pulled in as a sort of pull quote, which breaks up the text. And then some more tables, another pull quote. And some of these tables were fairly complex as well, which I liked. You do have to go through and fact check these articles and so on. But this is one of the Cloud3 Sonnet articles, and I really like the formatting of them. Let's just look at a, another one. Let's look at something that's dealing with the outdoor niche. Here's the Cloud3 Sonnet article for gravel biking versus mountain biking, exploring the differences. Again, nice tables, lots of good information, nice pull quote here, just to break up the text. So it really does a nice job creating these articles, another pull quote. And the reason I keep emphasizing these pull quotes is when I looked at the other language models and the articles that were being created, Cloud3 Sonnet and Opus were the only two that were really following the instructions of SEO writing.ai the best and adding these quotes, these pull quotes. And to me, they really help break up the article. So that's why I like Cloud3 Sonnet so much for blog posts. You know, Opus to me is the secondary language that I would use, but the problem with Opus I found is it wrote a ton of content. So, you know, while most of the other articles would be like 2,500 words, if I use Claude Opus, it would write almost twice as many words. And to me, some of these blog posts were just too long. And so that's why, again, I lean toward Sonnet as the winner here. And the whole purpose of this was to give you a feel for which language model creates the best blog posts. And I just think that the way that Claude 3 Sonnet interprets the SEO writing instructions, I just think it happens to write the best articles. And the great thing about it is it's only four generations. I really thought GPT-40 being the latest language model from OpenAI would be a clear winner. And in fact, it really didn't do a very good job, in my opinion, of writing these blog posts. The Claude.ai languages did better. And so I hope that this just helps you determine what language to use when you write your articles, because I know a lot of the viewers of this channel have been using SEO writing.ai for a long time. I've noticed a lot of new people signing up for SEO writing. That's great. Thanks for supporting the channel. One thing that I want to mention quickly is if you choose to purchase SEO writing.ai, there's a link in the video description. Make sure that you use my discount code and my link so you can get 25% off SEO writing.ai. Obviously, I'm an affiliate. If you make a purchase, I get a small commission, but it does help support the channel and I really appreciate that. If you have any questions about SEO writing, if you have any questions about what you saw in this video, please make sure, leave them in the comments. If your experience writing with the different language models is different than what I showed you today based on the articles that I wrote, I'd be interested to find out what language model you like to write in the best. Cloud3 Sonnet's the winner for me. That's how I plan to write my blog posts here in the future. Until another language model comes out that really proves to be dramatically better. And so hopefully this has been helpful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.